What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. We just touched down in Costa Rica. That's what they say here. That's the saying. So uh, we ended up coming to Costa Rica because we got a cheap flight for around $132. So we have a couple days here. I think four days exactly. So stay tuned here. So we were trying to get a rental car to take us to La Fortuna. However, we booked with Firefly and they gave away our car rental. Yes. Yeah, so Firefly or Hertz. Not don't, a good person. Don't do that. Don't ever use it. So we actually found somebody to take us to La Fortuna. We met two other ladies from Germany and they're going with us. And we were able to split it for 60 US dollars, $15 a piece. So heading to La Fortuna now. Well, first we had to stop and get breakfast. I got rice and peas, we got eggs, got the completo, salchichas. They've got the same thing, but scrambled eggs and the platanos. All of this for around three dollars so pretty good price and on our wild here we have the pisote pisote oh wow Thank you. yeah i wouldn't know if i say cute but it's an interesting looking animal on the way to la fortuna and we saw this beautiful waterfall la paz this is the bridge but look at this yeah this is nice That's beautiful. All right, so we just touched down in La Fortuna. This is our Airbnb. It looks pretty nice from the outside. Oh, this is nice. Got a nice bed. Oh, beautiful outdoor space back here. Oh, we got an outdoor kind of patio. And it looks like we have a pool or a tub or something here. Looks like there's some jets and a really nice green outdoor space here. I'm loving this. Oh, it's a cute little bathroom too. Yeah, it's pretty. Open concept. All right, so we just leaving our Airbnb. We're walking down the street. We're heading to El Salto, which is a free water river thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they have a rope swing, so I'm hoping to um, jump off it. So we'll see. And All right. <laughs> most importantly, it's free. On our way there, we see this nice little papaya farm with all of these papayas. And we're heading down to El Salto. Buena. Hey, there's some people. I know we're right. Definitely see some people here. I know we're in the right spot. up top there. Hey by the wild out, I already know. Oh shoot! Alright so we're just now wrapping up at El Salto which is a nice free area to enjoy. There's waterfalls, there's a rope swing. I didn't get on the rope swing but this guy right here he did and he did a backflip. No he didn't do a backflip. He did a dive okay <laughs> and it was amazing. I was impressed so. I would highly recommend you guys come in here. Just know that it is free, so there is a lot of tourists and locals as well who aren't here. So just time it accordingly. Either come early, come late. But honestly, you don't need all day to come here and do it. enjoy it. So um, in La Fortuna, there are Ubers and they are cheap. Like to get from where we are staying to the downtown area was like 1,000 colonies, which is like under $2. But the problem is, since they're so cheap, a lot of drivers don't want to connect with you. So um, we're about 15. 20 minutes away from downtown so we're just gonna walk and look yeah. at this 
the volcano is out. A whole volcano. Can y'all see it? The volcano is out. It was cloudy the whole day, but it's out now. Now and I believe it's a volcano. And it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, this is a great um, day we're experiencing. Thank you, God, for the beautiful sights. All right, look at the volcano. We're eating here at Pollo Fortunano. Fortunano. Beautiful. Let's see. Rice shrimp with a rice salad and french fries, some sweet plants on the side. I got the platanos and the half the quarter chicken with the white rice and fried beans and the tortillas. So right. great food here. Hopefully it's good. I know y'all see this. We were eating, but we had to stop oh because volcano. that volcano is so beautiful. There was a guy in there who said he hasn't seen the volcano. He's been here for five days, and our first day here. Yeah. The sun sets over it and it is clear. Gorgeous. Beautiful sunset. The Arena Volcano. Wow. So tomorrow morning we have a tour early. So we're here trying to get some groceries so we don't have to buy breakfast on the road. This is the grocery store right next to the bus station in the center. So. Buenos dias, Costa Rica. I can't believe that this is our outdoor spot. We got a nice little pool, lights. We got, they're like in the rainforest, which is beautiful. Like yesterday we were in a downtown area and while it's good that there's a lot of tourists, there's a lot of backpackers that were loud and noisy. Right here where we are, we're about two or three minute drive from the downtown area, but we have our own outdoor space and it's nice, quiet. You hear the birds, you hear the animals and it's amazing, so. Day two, we decided to go to Rio Celeste bright and early. Because we didn't have a car, we decided to do a tour. And you can find the information linked in our description. We negotiated for $65 a piece, which we thought was fine because it was an hour and a half away and included entrance fee, lunch, and transportation. This was a hike made up of mostly dirt trails with lots of steep stairs. You'll need to come energized and hydrated. We had an awesome tour guide named Isaac who gave us a lot of information about the different wildlife species in the rainforest and all the beautiful blue waters at Rio Celeste. The first stop on the tour was the waterfall, which was amazing, especially the beautiful turquoise water. I've never seen a waterfall this color before. Then we saw Laguna Azul, which is the blue lagoon. We visited Bobayones, which was bubbling gas in the river, which smelled like sulfur. We even crossed some hanging bridges as well. Lastly was El Tenidero, which is where the transformation to the blue water takes place. There's a myth that the reason the river is so blue is because when God finished painting the sky blue, he dipped his paintbrush into the river. We give you the real deal on how these waters got to be such a unique blue in the Rio Celeste video linked above and mentioned below in the description. Unfortunately, we weren't able to swim in the actual park, but our tour guide took us about one kilometer away outside of the park where we could swim in these amazing blue waters. So it was a huge benefit to have our tour guide because we wouldn't know where we could enter to swim without him. And of course, every time we get a... Coco Frio. <laughs> she gotta get it. My favorite. <laughs> it is her favorite. And we're also gonna try Granadilla. I just got one. When you open it, it has like this. It's beautiful. Um, and let me show you try it. Sweet. Good. Granadilla, you gotta try the local food. So, we heard about the free hot spring right across the street from Tabacón, which is the really expensive one. So we're gonna check it out and tell you guys what we think about it. Hopefully the water is hot and we have a great time. It is currently raining, so we'll see if we still have a good time. Good time to do a water action. That's right, good time to do water. All right, so we just got back from the free hot springs, which was a really great experience. I really enjoyed it yeah. so much. <laughs> it was great. It was so many pools, which was crazy because I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would just be one little area. Mm -hmm. And honestly, because it's free, there was a ton of people, but you can get your own area because there are so many different areas in the rocks. Honestly, the tide really pulls. Was strong. You. Yeah. So, <laughs> so be careful. Yeah, be careful. Um, I would highly suggest having water shoes when you're there because it is very rocky. Very rocky. 
So the one thing about it is the free hot springs wasn't like super hot, which is good for me, but I know <laughs> she really likes boiling water. Somewhere too when we were in St. Lucia and we were in this super, super hot hot spring. If you haven't seen that video, we'll probably link it above or below in the description, but check that one out too. Um, but it's nice, it's still steamy. Yeah, it's, it's steamy, it's beautiful ambiance, it's nature it. around, it's lush. Um, so it's a great place to hang out for families and couples or yeah. just by go by yourself, you'll meet a lot of people. So Definitely. highly recommend going to the free hot springs right across from Tabacon. So just chilling out here. In the hot spring. In the hot spring. Oh, we're in the hot spring. Can't get better than that. Can't get better than that. Okay. It's good because honestly we're still tired this morning. Yeah. <laughs> that hike. And for dinner, right by our Airbnb. Is Restaurante, traditional Costa Rican food. Restaurante Tikui. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna try no more. I'll, I'll write it on the bottom. <laughs> but we'll see if it's good food here. And dinner has arrived. We got our drinks, the culadas. I got a traditional Costa Rican steak with the rice and corn. Liv got the garlic shrimp. Looks so good. Hope it is good as well. Good morning, good morning, Costa Rica. So today we are heading to Mystico Hanging Bridges. We have a reservation for 6.30 a.m. because we want to be one of the early ones there. This was a thrilling way to experience the rainforest in Costa Rica. Currently, it is $26 per person and you need a reservation to enter. There are six hanging bridges and the whole park is around two miles. You are surrounded through a rainforest with over 700 species of plants and over 350 species of birds. It took us around one and a half hours to explore the park. The first hanging bridge has more open air views and a spectacular view of the volcano, if it's a clear day. Some of these bridges are over 75 meters high and you can feel the motion of every single step. We were in the clouds the entire time there is a picturesque waterfall that you can hike down to. Overall, it is a great calming activity in the rainforest that I highly recommend if you are not scared of heights. So we scheduled a COVID test because we leave tomorrow. Um, we got a lady to come to the house and it was 55 US dollars for her to do it. And she comes to our house. So we'll just wait for her and do the COVID test. And our host also let us know that there is a lake right by the house that we have access to with the Airbnb. And it's beautiful. Just look at these flowers over here. <laughs> it's a beautiful picturesque walk right here. So Whoa. we heard it, but look at this. That is so nice. I mean, literally the house is right there. You walk down and wow. this is the lake. Yeah, this is beautiful. Maybe, it's, is it a park? Let's walk. Wow. This Airbnb is an absolute steal. Right now it's listed around $60 a night. So I can walk up these here today. <laughs> It really feels like it. Like <laughs> the lake is beautiful, it's well maintained. The flowers are so nice. Big trees. Looks like they even have a flowing river here too. Wow. The colors, the flowers, the trees. All right, so we left our Airbnb and we're heading to our next one. Um, once again, there is Uber available, but because the ride was about $1, none of the drivers accepted the ride and yeah, just kept, kept canceling. So just be mindful that even though there are Ubers, you can't really catch them if it's a cheap ride. And we were so lucky the first day we were here because we saw the volcano. Like <laughs> that right there, 
is the volcano. Lost the clouds. But it's because of the clouds, you can't see anything, so. Okay, and now we are pulling up to our next Airbnb right here. This one is $50 a night. So it's a nice little outdoor space here. Oh, let us in. Here's Airbnb. Nice little couch, kitchen area. Good. Good. Looks like it's two bedrooms. Oh. Phone to office. Okay. Office space. So it's an office space over here. Small bathroom, but looks good. Just for the two of us. Hot water shower. And our own bedroom. And we're downtown. Here's the park in the central. Well, we're going to eat right across the street at La Parada, Costa Rica. So, Olivia thought that this wasn't sweet enough. So, <laughs> what she did is she grabbed all of this salt and put the salt in her cappuccino. I thought it was my cappuccino, so I thought it was sugar. Liv, how does that taste? It's still not sweet. <laughs> food came out so quick. I right here got the casado with the tilapia. This is a traditional Costa Rican dish. And you probably guessed it, I got some shrimp, rice with shrimp, and a nice salad. All right, so we just got here at La Fortuna Waterfall. What we didn't want to see is all of these cars, <laughs> especially these vans, because probably be a lot of people. Um, the sun is out today, so we are hoping that it'll be a good day. Hopefully the water is warm, um, but we'll see. It's cost us about $18 a person in order to get in, so I hope it is worth it. I'll let you know. There's a restaurant you gotta go to. Looks like a lot of people are eating. It smells good. It looks like they have a nice charcoal grill. It looks like here's a viewpoint of La Fortuna. That's a big waterfall. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that waterfall right there from the viewpoint, but that is a big waterfall. Okay, so from this point, it looks like there are 500 steps down, yes. moderately steep. It looks like it's going to be a fun hike down. <laughs> this is not what you want to hear when you're walking down 500 steps. It seems like they are working on the steps while we are walking on the steps. <laughs> yeah, they're literally hammering right underneath us. That is not what I want to hear. Especially when it says this. Peligro. Caída distinto. It means it's dangerous. We will fall a long distance. Not good. But we made it to the base. And I can't wait to show you guys this waterfall up close. There's a good amount of people down here already. But look at this. Look at this fierce, strong woman. Look at her. What a sight. What a I can't go to La Fortuna and be in La Fortuna and not get in La Fortuna. So. <laughs> ticket at the reception you can't go up here so I was wondering how would people get here but it looks like this is also a river I guess and people flow in from the river and go up the stairs and see the waterfall for free don't do that or if you do know how to do that let me know next time and in this river here I don't know if you can see it but it's tons of fish right here those guys over there are trying to catch them they look pretty unsuccessful so after the waterfall, we went to the Airbnb and just kind of chilled out. It was tiring after a long day. Yes, so now we're hungry. We're headed into town. And actually, we're a little bit closer to the main um, area in this Airbnb. So we're walking there now. Hopefully, we'll find something good. 
And also important to keep in mind that they do have a curfew in Costa Rica. Currently it's 10 p.m. so we're fine. We're early right now. But always um, check that out before you come also about curfew. So we'll probably leave that in the description. And we're going to Soda Vique's. Washing hands. All right, so we're at Soda Vique's. Um, they recommended me getting the sea bass and it actually smells fantastic. Live God once again. <laughs> Shrimp rice. <laughs> so yes. hopefully it's good here. What's up Costa Rica? It's our last day here in Costa Rica. Um, we're just chilling in the hammock this morning. Yeah. People watching. <laughs> um, we got a nice little patio spot. Actually, it's good that we caught the volcano our first day because lately you haven't been able to see anything. Lost in the clouds. But um, we're hoping to go get some breakfast. It's Sunday, so I don't know what's open. Yes. So we'll just walk around town, eat, and then chill until we have to head back to um, San Jose Airport. All right, so when you're walking into town, there's a guy with a big fruit stand. He sells this Coco Frio, which Liv loves, My and favorite. it's only 500 colones for a coconut which is less than a dollar so get you one and for breakfast we're gonna go at la casa de hormiga soda hopefully it's good to eat it's open on a sunday so let's get it okay and our food has arrived liv got breakfast she got the rice and beans with the eggs with the salsa and i got a untypical casado which is rice and beans um it has some chicken and some salsa and some pasta I got this one because I've just been eating cassada the whole time that I've been here, so. Um, and we are some... heading back to the airport. Uh, we got a lovely driver named Alejandro who's been taking us around, and he gives us really fair prices, a lot of times beating the overprices, so. Check the description, I'll leave his information in there, so when you guys come to Costa Rica, you can use him as well. And just like that, Costa Rica, we will miss you. We are back in New York. Pura Vida, more life. But we're back into 15 degree weather. And I mean, overall, it was a great trip. We worked in our budget, things went um, as planned. Saw some waterfalls, saw some volcanoes, and ate great. So we might have to do another trip soon. So stay tuned, and thank you for watching.